Hey what's up guys my name is Pavindra from PNP Tutorials and you are watching the PNP Tutorials channel and in this video we are going to talk about how we can create the portable hacking machine using Raspberry Pi 0W and this mobile phone. So idea here is that I will connect my Raspberry Pi to this mobile phone and as soon as I will connect it and Raspberry Pi will be able to take the power from the mobile phone as you can see this LED is blinking. Now for connecting the Raspberry Pi with our mobile phone, we will create the hotspot into this mobile phone and this Raspberry Pi will automatically be connected with the hotspot of this mobile phone. This process might be sounding difficult to you, so I have divided this process into 6 steps. First step would be to download the PyTale Kali Linux version and write it to the SD card. So for doing this, I'm making the use of Raspberry Pi 0W. You can also make the use of Raspberry Pi 2W. So here I'm on Kali Linux website and now I want to download a Raspberry Pi 0W PyTale Kali Linux version. I'll click on that download button and the download will get started. Once the downloading process is done, then you need to write that file into your SD card. You can make the use of Win32 Disk Imager. Second step would be to create the hotspot in any mobile phone and find out its IP configuration. The same configuration we are going to set it up into a Raspberry Pi. The hotspot configuration that you need to set up into your mobile phone will be this. This will be the SSID of your hotspot which you are giving from your mobile phone and the password should be this. As you can see guys I have set up a network name over here and the password is also same. And similarly I will connect with the same network from here. I'll see the information over here. And as you can see guys, this is the IP configuration which that mobile phone is giving me into this iPhone. I will update that same configuration into the interfaces file. Just keep in mind, this IP configuration can be different in your mobile phone. Step 3 will be to make changes in interfaces file that is available in the SD card where we have installed the Kali Linux. As you can see guys, we have the interfaces file. We will open this file with the notepad++. We want to do the same configuration which we have seen into the iPhone which was connected to the mobile hotspot. So here you can see guys, by default you will see that configuration. I want to replace it with the 192.168.216 and gateway will also be 216 and this should be 50. Once you're done with that, save this file and take out your SD card. Fourth step will be to plug in the SD card back to the Pi Zero and give the power to a Raspberry Pi Zero using an OTG cable and Type B cable. Fifth step will be to wait for the Raspberry Pi to connect to the hotspot automatically. As you can see guys, this Raspberry Pi is now connected to the mobile hotspot automatically. Sixth step will be to install the connect port and VNC server into your mobile phone and do the SSH into your Raspberry Pi using that mobile phone. Now we will install the application called connect port. I have already installed it. I will simply click on open and now I need to add a connection and here we need to specify the username of our Kali. For doing the SSH into our Kali Linux, the username will be Kali and the host name will be the IP address 216. Dot 254 and we need to specify the port number S22 that is default port for doing the SSH. I'll increase the font size to 15. I'll keep it like do not use any keys and I'll go back and as you can see it is never used so whenever you will click on it you should be able to get the SSH shell in front of you. Let me just click on that and as you can see it is asking me for the password. I will enter the password as Kali and click on done. And as you can see guys, we have been able to log in into our Kali Linux. I'll check what all interfaces we have. We have WLAN 0 still available. So if you want to enable the monitor mode, all you have to do is to just type in here sudo mon0 up. And as you can see guys, we have our interface here that is as mon0. So if you want to run the error dump, and see what all Wi-Fi routers you have around you. Then you need to type sudo airdump ng mon0. 
and as you can see guys you are able to see all the wi-fi routers around you so this is how you can run the kali linux straight into your mobile phone using your raspberry pi 0w you can do the same thing with raspberry pi 2w as well and if you want to access the GUI of this Raspberry Pi 0W onto your mobile phone, then you only have to run the VNC server into your Raspberry Pi. And after that, you need to install a VNC viewer into your mobile phone. And once you do that, you should be able to do the VNC into your Raspberry Pi as well. You can also connect a USB module to the Raspberry Pi Zero so that you can directly plug it into your OTG cable and then that OTG cable can be plugged into your mobile phone. This setup looks neat and clean and very handy as well. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.